You should be getting yourself right, right now. I'm talking, y'all should be working on your physical. You should be detoxifying yourself. I'm saying you should be working on the spiritual. The spiritual meaning that y'all should be taking like meditational baths, doing spiritual cleansing work. Man, y'all need to be getting ready for the March 31st shift that's about to happen. Anything that's still lingering into your org field, it's gonna like, it can cause you to physically combust. Meaning that if you still have like a lot weighing you down, if you still got emotional blocks, if your leaks is still pouring out of your org field, if you ain't working on like building back up your life force, semen retention for the men out there, women, if you ain't letting go shit that you still holding on from a child, you will be physically affected. I'm trying to tell you right now, if you ain't been studying the body, I'm telling you, you should start learning about your body. Don't just let, don't just rely on a doctor or a physical physician because they only gonna tell you so much. I'm telling y'all right now. Hold on, let me see right now. So like, you should be doing like cleansing baths. You should be um, focusing on going within, bro. I'm telling y'all right now, do not sleep on spiritual work. No matter what people say, don't sleep on this. This shit is the realest thing you can ever, ever imagine. But I ain't gonna linger on to that. I'm just gonna tell y'all some key facts. Reason why you should be cleansing yourself right now. So it, it doesn't matter if you gotta do it when you get off work, if you gotta do it when everyone's asleep, when no one's around, you got like a family, you got children, whatever it is, maybe you should be doing cleansing work every day. And this is the reason why you should be doing cleansing work right now. I'm gonna tell y'all right now. Hold on, I'll make my water a little more hot. You know what I'm saying? All right, five reasons why you shouldn't sleep on spiritual self physical work. I'm gonna call it spiritual self physical work because there's three parts to this, all right? It's your self, which is your body, which is your mental and it's your spiritual. So it's your emotional things you still hold on to that's causing your org field to leak. Things that you're still worried about that's still draining you, okay? Nothing should not be draining you anymore. You should be letting all that shit go. So things with your family, old relationships you was in, things that bother you about yourself, let all of that shit go right now. And I'm gonna be telling y'all why, all right? It's for five reasons. So one of the reasons is Whatever you hold on to, it's gonna um, it's gonna draw, it's gonna manifest. I was gonna say draw, but it's gonna manifest out of you. Meaning that whatever you strongly believe in the most, that is what you're gonna be manifesting the most on this shift that's about to take place on March 31st. There's a new shift that's about to happen. And what it is is that we're getting closer to other planets like Nibiru, and I'm gonna tell y'all movies that I've talked about this. Fantastic Four, Chronicle, what else? There's a bunch of movies that talked about this. But look, those few movies that I named, Interstellar, like these movies, they uh they talked about what's gonna happen. And what's gonna happen is your thoughts, the vibration that you contain, like 24 7 majority of the time is gonna manifest it's gonna amplify in your org field so you're gonna become which you focus on the most that is why this is so important so if you focus on toxicity the most that is what you are gonna become no doubt i'm telling you right now i ain't trying to wish nothing harm on anybody people like nah no why are you trying to threaten me i'm like what you mean me i ain't threatening you i'm just telling y'all what is and what ain't i'm telling y'all facts so i Another thing is, if you haven't already worked on your spiritual, you ain't gonna be able to evolve and ascend to this new vibe of torture. You're gonna be stuck in the old world with the old oppressors. You don't want that, I'm telling you. They just basically wanna put you in the meta, make you a zombie, suck the rest of your life force out of you, drain and drive, tell you that it's healthy to bust nuts twice a day, seven days a week, and validate everybody else but you. That's no good for your spiritual evolve evolution like you ain't supposed to evolve like that i'm just being real with you so it's not gonna be good in the long run all right the next thing 
reason why you want to work on yourself is because you want to not bring old shit in the new world. Meaning that if you're still focusing on old problems, old shit, old vibratory, old stagnated things that don't help you or don't benefit you in this new vibratory, don't do it. You should be letting that go. So whatever means that it takes, I'm talking about if you gotta meditate in the water, which is the best, best conductor to meditate in, I recommend you meditate in water. If you gotta let go toxic motherfuckers, you gotta do that. If you gotta, whatever you gotta do, you should be doing right now. If you gotta move, make that move right now. Do not stay in the old energy expecting new opportunities. That's the thing. I don't want y'all to think y'all can get something new from the old. That's not really how it works. You know what I'm saying? The craziest thing is doing the same old thing, expecting something different. Yeah, you manifest by building a momentum, but if you putting out the wrong vibratory, you can't manifest something that's out of the alignment, that's not in that vibratory, it's not in that frequency. All right? I think I got two more to tell y'all. The other thing is you should be changing your pattern. You should be letting go of like the old, the old way of thinking things. You should be thinking about new hustles, like multiple streams. You should think about passive portfolio. You should think about uh, professional income. All these other income, make sure you get out of the rat race. As long as you work on it, I'm telling you, there's a bunch of gurus online that talk about this. And last, you should be taking care of yourself right now. You should be detoxifying meat, parasites, arsenic. You should be mess, stop messing around with all that, you know, just estrogen, all that uh, soy base, all that, you know what I'm saying? Like, get your testosterone back up for you men that's watching this video. Get your testosterone up, bro. So many dudes walking around with like estrogen more estrogen than testosterone get that shit up that shit is a weakness on multiple levels don't go into this new world with all that estrogen still weighing you down bro that's gonna make you like you know what i'm saying i don't want to say it's like uh, you know it is what it is so you know what i'm saying do those things right now and i guarantee you're gonna be better off i guarantee you're gonna be much more happier things ain't gonna affect you you ain't gonna fall backwards you're gonna be always taking steps forward all right, just by doing these five things that I just named. As you can see, I'm already doing something right now. If y'all wanna check out my videos like this, where that came from, go check out my TikTok. I got all information down below, but it's called KT Chris, yo. I'ma leave that in the description. But yo, mess with me, yo. I'ma put out some more of these videos. I'm out.